In this question on arithmetic progression, we are told that how many times of the series minus 3, minus 1, plus 1, and so on will add up to 165 degrees. Now, to look at this question holistically, we need to notice that we are being given the set of values of this particular series as minus 3, then minus 1, then plus 1. And if you look at this, we need to get the next set of entries and if we add up everything, the sum will be 165. Now, there are some things we can observe from here. Like the first term A, this is the very first term, is minus 3. So A is minus 3. And then the common difference is the difference between the subsequent terms and the initial term. Like in this case, it will be maybe minus 1, minus, minus 3. Or it can be 1, minus, minus 1. Okay. In both cases, you see that minus 1 minus minus 3. These two negative signs will multiply to become plus. So we have minus 1 plus 3. And that's going to be 2. Or in the second case, this same D, we can say it's 1 minus minus 1. Minus multiply each other will give us plus. So 1 plus 1, that is 2. So the first term is minus 3. The common difference is 2. And then we are told that the sum up to a particular term, Sn, is 165. So what we have to find is to find the number of terms that we add up to this 165. Now, the question is, what is the formula for evaluating the sum of some terms in an arithmetic progression? That sum, Sn, is giving us n over 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference d. So, this equation is what we can use to actually solve for n because like here we are giving sn n is what we don't know the number of times but the sum of that number of times have been given as 165 so we have 165 is equal to n which we are looking for over 2 multiplied by 2a a is minus 3 so we have 2 times minus 3 plus again we don't know n so we have n minus 1 multiplied by d and what is our d the common difference that is 2 so we just need to open up this and solve appropriately. If 2 is multiplying 165, that will be 320, then 10, 330. So we have 330 is equal to n multiplied by 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Then plus 2 times n is 2n. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. Okay. So here we can say we want to open that bracket and we have 330. Is equal to um, okay. We can still solve this n multiplied by 2n, yeah, minus 6 and minus 2. We add up to be minus 8. So if we just move the, all of this to the only one side, I can have 2n times n will be 2n square, okay. Then n times minus 8 will be minus 8n. Okay, then 330, if it comes to this side, it will become minus 330, and the sum of all this will give us 0. Now, this is looking like a quadratic equation, but we can simplify further by dividing each of the entities by 2. So, if I do that, I will have this to be this beautiful quadratic equation as n squared minus 4n minus 330 over 2. 23 is 1, 2 in 13 is 6, and 2 in 10 is 5. So, this is a quadratic equation that we can solve with whatever method we find um, appealing to us. And here, I want to look at 165 n square. And I want to look at, okay, minus 165 n square. And I want to look at minus 4 n. So, to solve this, I need to look for two times that I can multiply to give minus 165 n square. And when I add them together, I will give us minus 4 in. So, if I'm looking at 165 as a number and I want to just find all the factors of that, I can divide, okay, I think 3 can go. 3 and 16 is 5, remaining 1. 3 and 15 is 5. So, 5 can go in 55, that is 11. 11 can go in 11, that is 1. So, I'm having these entries. What I can do is I can try to look at the combination of this in whatever format that can be suitable. So if I take 3 and 5, the product of the two, that's 15. 15 and 11, I think this is giving us something worthwhile. Let me clear this board. So I can say I want to look at 15 
n and 11 n and no now if i'm taking the negative of one of them then the product will give us a negative number but looking at this sum which one should we take the negative i think it should be 15 that should take the negative because minus 15 n plus 11 n will give me minus 4 n and if i say minus 15 n times 11 n that will also give me minus 165 n squared so i'm on track and i can say for this particular expression i can write it out as now i can say n square but instead of writing minus 4 n i can just say minus 15 n okay plus 11 n minus 165 is equal to zero you see it's consistent because minus 15 n plus 11 n is actually minus 4 n so i can solve for that to say in the first case n is common to both this will remain n minus 15 okay then plus 11 and this will also remain n minus 15. this is equal to zero so looking at that i have two factors n plus 11 n plus 11 multiplied by n minus 15 is equal to zero so taking these two is either n plus 11 is zero or n minus 15 is zero and looking at this in this case n is equal to minus 11 and here n is equal to 15 but we are looking for the number of times so definitely n is minus 11 cannot be the correct answer because it's negative the number of times have to be an iterated value starting from zero it cannot be negative so our solution is that n is equal to 15 all right so these are the kind of videos that we constantly upload on data academy so that they can help you to build your proficiency in your stem subjects and be the best that god had created it to be if you are yet to subscribe to the channel it is free of charge and it's not going to cost you anything but we'll have information and access to all of our videos once we upload them so go ahead and subscribe to the channel click on the like button click on the notification bell so that you have notifications of our videos once we upload them and until next time God bless you.